And whereas I seriously, I'm not past, I want to sit like, I'm spiritually, I know I do it. That's why you probably feel heavy in the spirit too. Right? Left leg, just wrap myself around it. Uh, no, it's right leg, because I want to be a sheep, not a goat. Right? Maybe I am a goat, so maybe, let's just be honest, I'm a goat. So I, left, I wrap myself around this left leg, as he walk, Jamie, get off my leg. Jamie, get off my leg. Jamie, get off my leg. <laughs> Because I sin a lot. I'm a wreck. The offer of grace. Shall we continue you and sin that grace may abound? God forbid. But oh for grace. Oh wretched man. Oh wretched man. Oh wretched man, oh wretched man, oh wretched, wretched man, oh wretched, wretched man, wretched man that I am, 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 oh, oh for, oh for, oh for, oh for grace, oh for grace. Hmm. That's key. Grace. Isaiah had no idea what Hezekiah was doing upstairs when he was walking down the tick, 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 down the stairs. He went up, he did, he got, I did my job. I came here and did my job. I told the king, you want to die. And I left. That, don't think Nathan, Isaiah, Gad, right? David had to do with Gad too, right? Don't think that these prophets, Elijah, seriously? I mean, come on. Elijah was getting the Ahab at Jezebel's skin all the time. He was listening, I'm going to stop the rain. Now you ain't going to drink. Uh, now you ain't going to rain. Elijah was... Angering, let's say, I'm, I'm, I'm using word that I'm not used to using, angering them all of the time. These prophets, it wasn't easy for them, right? Because they had to, little the prophets really did not talk to the people that often. The scribes, Nehemiah, God said, Nehemiah built the wall. Nehemiah 8 10 says, The joy of the Lord is my strength. But Nehemiah did not say that. Ezra did. Ezra, Ezra was a scribe. So the scribes talked to the people. The scribes were priests, and they talked to the people. But the prophets talked to the kings. They had the don't nobody bring me no bad news. <laughs> Isaiah didn't care. He was bringing him some bad news. Nathan came into David's face. You the man. <laughs> bad news. He go. That's for you. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, David, this for you. <laughs> it's God. You messed up. <laughs> but, but for... Oh for grace, 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 oh for grace. Since Isaiah couldn't hear anything that um Hezekiah was doing, he didn't know that Hezekiah had Turn his face to the wall. I mean, no, Jamie, I don't need no face no more because the thing is, I'm gonna die, so I might as well just give it all up. When Jamie feel like it's just over, is is she angry? I detonate everything in my path. Bam, bam! I just throw bombs everywhere. Just uh, it's crazy. I'm like Mario Brothers. I just throw up, start throwing bombs and everything. Just throw a bomb at it. I don't care. That's my refrigerator. Bam! Just throw, but Jamie's gotta eat. I don't care. I don't care about nothing. I don't care about nothing. And when I get upset about something, it's like I, I say to myself, I don't care about life right now. I don't care about life. I get so angry. <laughs> So I detonate. <laughs> That's it. It's over. I'm H bomb. It's in, 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 in the world, in me. Nobody else feels it. Nobody else cares. But I, I, That's it. It's over. Everything's over. But Hezekiah didn't do that. He had reason to. The Bible said Hezekiah turned his face to the wall. But Jamie would have put her face through the wall. I don't care no more. I'm about to die anyway. Sometimes, you know, you, uh, uh, loans would frustrate me so much, I would literally bang my head on the wall. Bang, bang, bang. And she would just laugh. We're so frustrated, right? You don't express it, right? And instead of sitting me down and talking to me about it, because no punishment to, right? It's punishment if you just beat me and put me off to the side. But it's consequences, right? If you, if, if you inflict consequences, but then you tell me and you talk to me, right? And you tell me what's going on and why you're upset as much as it hurts. I mean, I, I experienced that for the first time, but God told me, God showed me, said he did the right thing, right? Because if, if, if he had, if he just let you go and just pushed you out into the world and said, I want nothing else to do, with you that's not love but love 
it's in consequences. Love is not in punishment. I can put you on punishment, but what does that mean? I'm putting you off somewhere to sit with your own sin by yourself. But God did not do that. What does God do? First John 1 and I, God comes down and he cleanses and forgives me and uh, uh, turns me to all unrighteous from all unrighteousness, right? He has a conversation with me. Jesus sat and talked to her. I believe she sinned, but Jesus sat and talked to her. Why do I believe she sinned? Because she was sick and she touched the hem of his garment. She touched the hem of his garment and became well. And then he sat with her and what did he do? He talked to her. He talked to her. Daughter, thy sins are forgiven thee. Go in peace. Meaning, your sins are forgiven thee. You messed up. Your faith has made you well. Your faith cleaned it up. Your faith allowed me to come to you. Your faith, because without faith and without her um, having faith in God, her touching the hem of his garment, her touching the hem of her hem, her touching the hem of her hem, her touching the hem of his hem. Some God said some of y'all need to touch the hem of the hem. Without faith, uh, you get nothing done. Without faith, uh, she would have gotten nothing from it. Without faith, uh, without faith, uh, oh for grace, uh, without faith, uh, oh for grace, uh, without faith, uh, it's a seesaw. Faith and grace are on a seesaw. Faith and grace, they get in God said, I'll balance you, I'll balance you. Without faith, oh for grace, without faith, because the Bible says, when sin does abound, grace does much more abound. So grace is always combating your sin. Faith is what you use, right, to, to access. God said grace must be access. That's the Baha. Faith comes with a mustard and a seed, but grace comes with keys. You need keys for grace. Grace in Baha. You must access it. Hallelujah. And somehow, he didn't, he didn't know about Jesus Christ. So Hezekiah didn't have a, a mustard seed, but what he did get is grace. Somehow, he exercised and accessed and come out and achieved grace. The grace that I told Hezekiah, I told Isaiah to come back upstairs. And free him from his uh, penitent sentence. Please tell me if that's a word. Contact me if you can. If it's not a word to him, Jamie, don't use that word no more. It's not a word. But I think a jailbird. It's like God said, penitence. Like as a jailbird. Um, you're locked up. Um, uh, by, right. It's sort of like um, uh, I think about the Catholic confessional. So it's not. A, I mean, this is not a rip for Catholic people. Y'all got enough going on. So I, I, y'all, y'all do it to yourselves. But uh, but what I'm saying is, uh, when we go to you go to them and you go um, and you go penance. God just said, that's where the word operates from, penance. So you're saying penitent or penitentiary, you know? It, it, it's just a lockup, right? You're, you're locked up inside your sin. The grace, but you cannot free yourself. It's almost like those people that wrap themselves, their hot pants on their back, and they have people, um, they wear a straight jacket, and they have people chain them up and throw them in the ocean, and they free themselves. You know why they can't free themselves? And they can't actually do it? It's a lie. You know why they can't actually free themselves? Most of them have a key, and they do it that way, right? In their mouth, they'll have a key, or they'll dislocate the arm. They dislocate an arm. That arm becomes limp. You can do whatever you want with it. That arm becomes limp. It flops back and forth, right? I may be in water, but if my arm becomes limp, I could figure out how to grab a key with it to to do something that I need to get done. But God said this is Jesus' body. And a lot of us are walking around dislocated from it, dislocated from it. You were trying to commit a trick. You were trying to do a trick. You were trying to do a trick, you witch, and you ended up dislocated yourself from the body you tried to do a trick you ended up sick living in ick and now you got death sentence I and mean, it's fine because everybody's got death sentence right except Isaiah in obedience in obedience to what grace told him to do to what grace told him to do I gotta get I gotta come up here because Isaiah had the faith to see God Without faith, it's impossible to uh, please God, right? But those that um, um, those that uh, please Him or those that know Him but believe that He is and that He is a rewarder of those that diligently seek Him. So Isaiah had the faith, but he he came back to talk to Hezekiah and give him grace. The grace I believe that um, Isaiah extended to Hezekiah, he took 
or was taken from himself. Isaiah got a death sentence. Why? Some of us don't know, but when God tells you to tell somebody something, you could be actually adding years to your life by doing it. You be sitting right next to an atom bomb. I, when, I, literally, when I get mad, it's like, I, I see red. I mean, like, there's certain things and certain people that can calm me down. I mean, literally, Harmony gets on my face and she's like, Jamie, shut up. Christina, Jamie, shut up. Like, you know, like, my pastor, I, I straighten right up. I, you don't have to say nothing. I straighten right up. Ooh, I just. I got scared just thinking about it. When I get mad, everything discontinues but my anger. <laughs> it's a continuous line of the world and the earth and art world and, and everything. But when I get mad, everything just dies until I stop being angry. That's dangerous. Dangerous. My attitude is dangerous. <laughs> the term the acronym for mad. Learn that on Henry Danger. I need to stop watching that show. My attitude is dangerous. Y'all think I'm bad. That little girl Piper. They took her to jam. A juvenile anger management to <laughs> jam. And it took a collar around her neck. So, they could, uh, so she could, they could control her. We're not even going there. When I get mad. There's very few, few things and very few people that can kind of bring it down. Jamie, bring it down a notch. Okay. But they were, they were automatically put on a seesaw. Because Isaiah had life. He was fine. But in Isaiah having life, in Isaiah keeping his life, Hezekiah was doomed to, doomed to, got a death sentence doomed to die. He was doomed to die. Die, I mean die and get dead. And when I say dead, get dead. Us. Dead. When Isaiah came back upstairs to tell him, God added 15 years to you. Hmm. I imagine he was praising God, right? Because God inhabits the praise of his people. It doesn't matter how your praise sounds or, or how it looks or right here, how you sing it. Oh, 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 what he's done for me, right? Oh, 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 oh. How you guys heard that song before? It don't sound like this, I promise you. What he's done for me. Oh, 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 yes, God, what he's done for me. Can God find you praising him for what he's already done for you after you've been given a death sentence? I never shall forget. I never shall forget, 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 I never shall forget. I'm ebbing and flowing. No matter how much I am and die high, no matter where I'm at, I never shall forget. I never shall forget. I never shall forget. In sick and in well. In good and in bad. In seasons. When the springs on the fall. We don't know how old Hezekiah was. I never shall forget. All we know is that he's praising God at this point. I never shall forget. I'm in pain, God, but I'm also in you, God, it's true, I really am in pain, it's terrible, but you would never know it, because I never shall forget, I had to come on here and praise God anyway, because check this out, if I wasn't on here praise of God, I started with the art earlier this morning, and if I wasn't on here praise of God, I'd be back in there doing art. I said I gotta give God praise first, because I gotta start with you during my day. I gotta have prayer, have prayer, and give you praise first. Right to my because this is like eating to me. Hallelujah, because without you I wouldn't have a chance to be in the chamber of commerce, right? So I praise you, God. I praise you, God. And the thing is, I don't know who's gonna see it in there, but I know or how many people see it, right? I don't even think that there's that many people that go in there. It doesn't look popular. But my, but I know, but I know that 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 I know
I never shall forget. I never shall forget when I had nothing. And he became my everything. I wouldn't have heart if I, if I did not have him. So at the end of the day, praise comes first, right? Oh, 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 oh. What he's done for me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got another one. Oh, wait. Yeah. Magnify the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. Hey, Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Help me sing it. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. And let the God of my salvation be exalted. Oh, There's different versions of every song. Here we go. Here we go. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord liveth. The Lord liveth. The Lord liveth. Who God, by my that high. The enemy exists. Barely. Piece of trash. But the Lord liveth. My adjectives would be a lot worse if he wasn't a creation of God. I treat him like garbage because I, I give him that, that, that extra, um, what I would not give him, right? I'm nice to him. That, that's me being nice, right? Because he is a creation of God. Otherwise, people out there in the world cussing each other out, right? And, and talking, so, uh, talking disrespectfully to their parents, right? And then to the teachers, right? And to the people that are there to help them. We abuse each other, right? But, uh, but nobody wants to actually acknowledge who Satan is and call him out on it. I do! You're nothing. You're less than nothing. You're an abyss of darkness. I think about paint because there are, there's a black that's shiny. Even when I'm grinding my fingers into the board, the clay will come out shiny in certain spots, even in black, and then it looks matted in certain spots. A matte black, for me, is actually beautiful because it's totally um, devoid of any shine, right? It's totally just, uh, just a, a, a spray paint, right? But no gloss, right? No finish to it, right? But he is that abyss. If you've ever seen a matte black it's exact opposite of a glossy one matte meaning no finish nothing to it right it's an abyss you put matte black on a board on a canvas and it can be the most beautiful thing except that piece of trash right but whatever it's comprised of i don't think it has a soul or a spirit as my fact yes it does have a spirit it's disgusting it does have a spirit right but its spirit is completely black completely empty right because jesus is a light 
right? So all the light was taken, taken from it and given to Jesus Christ because he is the epitome of light. And instead of Satan being a light bearer like he was supposed to be, which is Lucifer, we were given a job and we become Lucifers, right? To, to, to go with me for a second, we become the title of a Lucifer. That's our position. Our position is a Lucifer. Matthew 5, 16 says, let your light so shine. We are light bearers. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. Take your feelings out of what I'm saying and put some common sense in it, right? Use your common sense. You are, your occupation is a Lucifer. He had the job and now he's lost it. And what he does is he makes you afraid to actually admit to it or admit to being a light bearer so then you lose the job too because you can't do it because you don't believe in it. Your job is to be a light bearer for Christ. The church is now set up to be a light bearer for Christ. That's what Jesus said to Peter. Satan desires to sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you. Why would Jesus be praying for Peter? He was a disciple and walking along with Jesus. And, Jesus, and Peter was one of the top three dogs. And Peter was actually, he was actually very um, obedient and very respectful of Jesus. You don't hear um, Judas saying, Judas, I have prayed for you. Never do you hear him saying that. Even at the Last Supper, when Judas would not bend and not realize that hell, heaven, holiness and hell was dipping in the same cup at the same time. He did not realize that he was the hell and Jesus was the holy. Jesus did not turn to him and say, I am praying for you, I love you, or I want to help you. Jesus did not pray for Judas as far as we could see, or at least he did not say it, right? But he sure told Peter, he said, Satan desires to sift you as a wheat. I mean, he want to separate you. He want to separate you, church. He has done it a little bit, because he's created denominations of demons in the nation. Demons in the nation. That's denominations, right? There's a demons in the nation. He has separated you like a wheat like a wheat meaning you had bread we all came together but we start saying I like black shoes I like red shoes I like the way he preached I like the way she preached everybody started separating we started making their own rules now nobody is wheat and everybody's chaff and what does it say about chaff and he shall be like a tree planted by the river of the water that brings forth fruit in the season and leaves off those shall not wither and whatsoever he do it shall prosper but the ungodly are not so but are like the chaff which the wind drives away I had to go my follow back I'm sorry Y'all. But uh, sometimes I have to say a certain scripture to jog another scripture. Right? You, you are you like, and nobody in this day and age is weak and everybody's trash. That's why I'm not trash, chaff. And that's why we're getting that's why we're getting strange fire. Instead of Holy Spirit resounding, refining fire. And we're getting strange bread instead of a bread of life. And the word of God, which is the bread. We are a blind nation. We are a blind nation. We are a blind nation. We are a nation. Open your eyes. God's sake. Open your eyes. See me and seek me. Seek me while I may be found. For the kingdom of heaven is still at hand. God said yesterday, told me the same thing, and it kind of scared me when I listened to it. I, I, I'm beyond you, God. It scared me. He said, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. When he says kingdom of heaven, just like in Matthew 6.33, he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, hallelujah, is his son. He is the epitome of the kingdom of heaven. Why? Because he is the head of the body, the church body, and we are the actual body, right? We are the members of the body, right? So the kingdom of heaven... Is, is, is Jesus Christ, right? But he stands. We are part of the kingdom of heaven. We are part of the kingdom. We're going to be in the kingdom. But the kingdom of heaven is Jesus Christ. I am not identified by my big toe. People don't walk up to me and say, walk up to me on the street and say, oh, and then both look down on my foot and say, hey, Jamie's big toe. They don't do that. That's, a, that's just stupid. The kingdom of heaven is not identified by Jamie as a member. The kingdom of heaven is identified by Jesus Christ because he is the head of the body. 